I'm at the facility. I did a, a bio digester for a five bedroom house for a client. The job was done about a year ago. The family finally moved into the building. And after the seats have been installed and everything has been done, accessories and stuff, then they are still, and now they are using it. They realize there's a lot of scent coming into the room. I was called by the, by the clients and I came here. So I'm here, I brought a, a plumber, a specialist for removing scents from building. What usually happens with most of this buildings is that when it's done, either the client complains that they are having scent by using biodigesters. So I've had a few clients who have complained and then I have got a specialist who I take them there to go and do two things. Show the client that the scent you are getting from inside the toilet room and the bathrooms and 99% of the time not from the biodigester and two to help him fix that problem. So I'm here at this facility and I'm going to take you around to see why the problem is and what we can also do about it. So the digester is here. We did it at the back here for the client. The family size large biodigester and it was connected to this sokawe which has got a submissive pump on it. So when the water gets to a certain level, then it can be pumped out into the gutter or into the front yard of the gutter all the way. So I'm just trying to observe and see what could possibly be the problem. But then when the sense started coming, what the plumber did was to come and put this vent pipe of my biodigester. And now I'm the one doing videos telling people why they shouldn't put vent pipe on their biodigester. And here I am with a biodigester that has got a vent on it. And is this really a vent? Will you call this one a vent? Certainly not. Saying that the, the he, he he was sure the scent is coming from the biodigester. So he wanted to let it out. And by letting the scent out, you do a vent like this. How would this solve the problem? But I'm standing here. All I can see is flies entering it. And there's still virtually no scent from here. So it shows me that the biodigester is not the one that's giving the scent. But the scent is coming from inside the house. And possibly the seats that was used to fix it. So I have the plumber here. We are making all the necessary works to see how we can have this toilet issue solved in this house. I'll give you an update as we go. After initial assessment, the plumber came to the conclusion on what was wrong. He then went about fixing it. The toilet seat had to be taken off. We realized the amount of silicone that was even used to hold it showed that the plumber that did his job was not really a qualified one. So he took it off and then he went about fixing it. What he used is this that I took a video of. I wanted to show you, which is what they call the ring. Apparently it can be used to help remove scent or block scent coming directly into the washroom. What happens is when you are placing the toilet on this type, on these pipes, that the PVC pipe that's going to the, either the manhole, the septic tank or the digester. Sometimes the hole is so big that you need to put a ring on it and the ring sounds like a Beyonce song. Yeah? You need to put a <laughs> you need to put a ring on it, and then after the ring has been placed on it, then you can seal it nicely. That one, there's no way a scent will come into the room. But that's exactly what the plumber did with this particular job. And I've I've been with him. I've had some of these problems. A couple of houses have had this problem, and I've been accused of not doing a good by the guest that because he was bringing scent to the rooms. And I was also very bold enough to tell them that I have a plumber who can feel the scent and the scent they are getting from their room is not coming from the bio, the digester. So that's exactly what I've been doing. So I knew when the homeowner or the client called me that the scent coming from the room with the digester, I told him specifically, no, there's no scent. And I'm going to them a plumber that will do the job for a fee. He agreed to it and exactly when we came, the plumber just told me exactly what I also suspected. It's not from the digester. I've shown you the video while it's not from the digester. And that this is the problem. So that's what exactly, that's what he's fixing. And then I know he'll be happy after that. You need a qualified plumber for some of these jobs.
if you are how you are you are you are doing the house for yourself and you are building your own nice house it's good to check the kind of plumber you are using for the house because the amount of materials the equipment the associates you are using also shows that probably there's some of these plumbers we don't have the know-how or they are not trained long enough to understand how some of these things work so if you have a good plumber who knows the new systems and know how they work then you know you are going to win a silver this is cream house bio digesters if you like videos like this then subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so that any new video that we do you will be the first to be notified of it leave a comment below what is your experience with plumbers in ghana you can leave a comment below what's your experience with bio digesters you can also leave a comment below when i did a video about not putting vent pipes on a bio digester I still insist the next time you construct a biodigester, either for yourself or for a client or anybody who wants a biodigester to be constructed, must insist that a vent pipe must not be put on it. It must not even be done anywhere closer to the digester. And even if it's done, it must go all the way to the top, at least above window level of the building. The reason, as I have explained in several of my videos, is because of the fact that biodigesters are simply on site biodegradable biodigester which does not require air to do its work which uses anaerobic digestion as a means of biodegrading the human waste that means that it must be sealed there tight and then no holes must be allowed around the digester it does two things or two or three things if you put a vent on it it means it gives access to insects just to invade the digester flies can invade the digester and even for worse situations whenever it rains water has got access directly to your bio digester so when you have a digester just like this maybe you're doing um, a vent pipe for it you shouldn't do it closer like this mm -hmm. you should not maybe you want to use this one for rodding purposes or anything that comes up as an inspection chamber it shouldn't be here it must be closed tight otherwise when it rains it will go in it so the best thing is to have projected it either on the wall and then let it go up then as you having to bring it closer here what i realized with this is that other insects and ants can have access to the digester one and in case it rains you might have water seeping to the digester if the soak away or the soak open is not working you are going to have problem so it's always best you have it like that 